want to fix. Okay, hang on, let me find some. Okay, so they're outside. There's this little pan out there, or this dog new dog house that covers this. Oh, important electric pipe, and somehow they got in there and if you said, well, yeah, was playing by the 
important electric wires. If you said, did they chew it? No, thank God. Thank God. Anyway, they thought they were trapped in there. But if you said, no, they really weren't. But thank God, I saw all that. Jumping's a normal behavior, as far as I know it is. Oh, you little precious. And this one, look, he does it. Oh, that one too. Every time. <laughs> Every time. He sits absolutely pro, and this one does it too. Ah, oh, that's yours, Nick. Here's Chili. Chili or the girl? This one's Chili. I don't even sit there. I, you know, people sit there and try to sit there and call it really that much by the name because people who usually don't keep the name. But there's always like always one Chester. Well there's always at least one Chester. That's Chester. Chester's head just a little his head and his feet are too big. That's all. There's quite a bunch. There's quite a bunch. And there's this one's chilly. Either that or this one. Oh no, this one's chilly. This one's Chili, that one's yours, Nick. This one's Carolina's. This one's Buttercorns, that one's Lynn's. This one's, uh, I forgot what you guys said you were gonna name her, Sandy. Oh, Little Miss Perfection. The most spoiled puppy on the planet. <laughs> so that isn't working at all. This, on the other hand, is working. If you said they are trying to size up their own but there's no reason they wouldn't be sizing up the environment for success. <laughs> All right, so see if you guys say, if you say, see if you can get them laying down. And I'm starting to understand if, if they are trying to copy you, you know, if, no, oh, look, he's already doing it. If they're trying to copy you and they're trying to say, you know, they're trying to learn to read the language of other dogs. If you said, no, they can innately read it. Not from what I can say, because young adolescent dogs routinely act extremely stupid groveling around to older dogs that don't like them at all to the point these older dogs actually launch attacks on them so they're not born with these incredibly good social skills he's thinking if one of them goes there goes, there goes the head on that one the other, one the other day jumped up and then it just fell completely down. Times, there goes that one's head. If you said, how many to have, times do they have to try something to exhaust the idea that it works? I mean, you know, it's going to vary, but... Uh-oh. So what was that? That's a clue pushing away.
once it starts fighting itself, though. Well, he got knocked down. I can't really help him. I can give him snacks for the fight, though. It just doesn't work at all. If you said, well, it does with me. If I hear the word no, I immediately stop and I'm going to behave that way again. I say, There's, that's never happened in the history of the world. This one starts to do it, and then it kind of fights it. So, oh, I'm sorry, I smell my tongue. I didn't even see it. You know, just their level of... This one's under here, doesn't it? So where's your face? say, oh my god, I figured it out. I got the magic formula. I figured out the magic formula rather than down, 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 down. I can't take it. I don't understand how this industry, if you said, well, the only reason you notice is videotape, oh, probably. Except for I'd been told long before video. I tell that story often. The guy said, stop petting them. I was astounded. If you said, well, this 30 years ago. More than that. He said, you're petting him too much. I said, is there such a thing? Yeah, there was. I still remember it. If he said, what if he never said that? But I wouldn't remember it. If someone never said it, I would never remember it. <laughs> oh, this one does it. Absolutely perfect. You know, if you said my plan is to teach it to speak English, good luck. <laughs> they don't even have the components to do that, so. If you said, well, all sound is vibration, they're just hearing sounds. That's why people say it's all in the tone of your voice, I suppose. Yeah, that could be true. All you have to do is see it get ready to happen, throw something in there. <laughs> Continue to make it successful. Why get up? Why jump all over someone to get attention? You're the center of attention just by laying there. Or, or it, it ends up being you've got the undivided, uh, the divided attention. That's what I tell people. So that way you're on the phone. Uh huh. Hello. Yes, I am training my dog, but I can still talk to you. So what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? I don't answer my phone. That's not realistic because I, I don't answer my phone anymore. If you said, how do people communicate with you? Barely through text. If you said, what about email? No, that's not reliable. I only check that once every blue moon. If you said, what about mail? Good Lord, no, the mail. Mick wanted to mail me a check. I said, Mick, Mick's known me for 20-something years. I go, Mick, you see where my mailbox is. Do you really think I'm going to plan an excursion up there to look for your damn check? <laughs> if you said, what did he say? He's known me for 20-something years. If you said it's a coincidence, I know, but eventually things, coincidences run out. 
There are people that say nothing's a coincidence, too. If you say, give an example. I don't know, that Denzel Washington movie? I can't think of the name of it, but there was a movie about it, so it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, let me see if a couple of them will fall. Just, I'm going to grab my iPad and see if I can get on YouTube. I'm trying to build up my YouTube just because I go on there in the middle of the night. I need to start doing a middle of the night show. If you say it's not the middle of the night everywhere, but I know that in America it would be. Oh, hi, Blanca. Oh, hi, Ellen. If you, if you said touch is a social gesture meant to convey good job, good performance. Yeah, exactly. It's a social gesture intended to do that. Dogs don't have that social gesture. If you have a congratul congratulatory pat on the butt. Yeah, just like the Friends episode where Chandler couldn't take it anymore. And he was scooting against the wall and everything. If you said, oh, that's one TV show, give me another example. Every freaking sitcom has had an episode about it. Seinfeld was where Jerry couldn't take the effing kisses anymore. And then Kramer made the board, put everybody's picture on there, and everybody was kissing Jerry all the time, and he couldn't take it anymore. He was hiding behind the refrigerator. He was doing anything he could to avoid this forced social gesture. If you said a dog on a leash doesn't have any choice but to accept this forced social gesture, so get over yourself, lady. Exactly. You're not giving it the option. You're forcing a social gesture that belongs to human beings. If you said across the board, oh, no. There's cultures where if you touch the person's head, they chop your hands off. If you said Thailand and stuff, you don't touch people's heads. So if you said, but they rub dogs' heads there, I don't believe that, brother. People say, well, people told me this and that. My response, where do I view their work? There's a reason I'm getting this very specific result. And physiologically, touch to dogs does not mean love. It, it doesn't. It just doesn't. You little peanuts. That's what it means. Look, if you said they love each other, that's forced engagement. They're just, oh, you little peanut. Look at this one. He's practicing laying down. He's practicing laying down. If you said, how permanent are these things? They end up <coughs> very permanent. If, if you said, what, just success. Based on the success of the behavior head. Nope, you're not going to go outside. You're all staying in this it's too cold outside. So I bet I can probably get him to lay down fairly quickly. quickly. That's your scene. She's she's studying. She's thinking. Get 
He said, what we should you say down? Don't say anything. He believes in his mind. So if you said that's nurture, you've created a perspective that this behavior is a foolproof way to be successful and get attention. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. If you said, what about when it jumps all over you and I go, oh, puppy, puppy, puppy. I can't even do it with a straight face. It's painful. It's painful. There's my introspective body language. That doesn't work at all. If you said they just keep trying stuff, not when it doesn't ever work. All right, let me see if I can get this one really down. You said, why don't you need to say anything? Oh, shouldn't you blow this up? It, it's, it's all implied. It's all implied. Mm. You said nothing's implied. Everything's implied. That's why when people say, can't you take a joke? Your response needs to be, listen, first off, your joke is offensive. And all jokes have a basis in fact. So you're saying, can't you take a joke? Is what's called gaslighting in the world of psychiatry. It's called crazy making on the street, and you need to stop doing it to me. <laughs> he said, where did you learn this? On a YouTube video. <laughs> I've learned a lot. If you said, what have you learned? You don't need to pay for a costly psychiatrist. These guys are on YouTube doling out free advice. <laughs> if you said, do you think you're saying, that's why I sit there and tell people. If you, you know, people always say, oh, my kind of crazy, I'm this kind of special, this kind of that. If, if you say, what do I say? I say, these people would be able to say, this woman is a textbook. You know, just the stuff they describe is, you know, oh, you're putting a button on there so these people can push and stuff. If you said, I mean, like the Michael Ellis button, of course, Alan wanders along and pushes the Michael Ellis button. You know, if you said, I can just safely say I'm not influenced at all by his work. I'm not even speaking to Mark right now. Mark was the one that said, he has the least animated Malinois I've ever seen. If you said that was his, well, yeah, I, you know. I saw some video where they were walking around by a dog park. If you said, you said, damn, Jesus Christ, this guy is struggling. He's struggling in front of a camera with a dog. If you said, well, he's good in a classroom setting. No, never. Yeah, I'm sure he is, but, you know, at a certain point, you know, you're not. And when you're journeyman, you're, you're still being influenced, but at a certain point, if you're really on a trajectory, you're not, if you said you're looking for influences from the outside, not from people like Michael Ellis, you know. If you said, what would your one dream be? No, I'd like to be able to do a remote sit at 250 meters. Is that just to make a video to show Mark? <laughs> Go, oh, here, watch this. <laughs> if you said, would he be mildly impressed? And maybe. You know, I think being able to do things in theory and being able to do them in actuality are just two different things. And you've got to say to yourself, I got the environment it's totally going against me. It's not working on my behalf. The environment is in no way working on my behalf. There may be a little luck if you said, what do you mean? Yeah, you got one coming towards you that's got a wind behind it. He may actually speed it up. If you said, what was that one just getting free? Yeah. You said that one trying to get your sock. Ain't my free treats going to go from one lane down, though. Yeah. If you said, what, should we continue to do this? Oh, for sure. You know, if people say, no, I can't just sit there. I like to just keep rubbing on them. And you're working towards the goal. Any of these will sit right by me. I can't even sleep in the bed. They're all such cuddle bugs. If you said, well, how do you sleep? All bent. All feet like this. They had me pinned the other night. Crash. Sleeping on my legs. 
And he said, what do I say? I said, Crash, you can't sleep on my legs like you used to when you were a little puppy. No, she slept in a crate. In fact, she was in a crate when she was little. I've got to have some videos of her in a crate. If you said, so what did that do? I had to lift her in and out of the crate every single time. That was the only way she could get in and out of the crate. So she had massive handling. So if you said the dog was handled daily, multiple times a day, it was lifted in it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it had a lot of handling. All right, so look, where's my tray? Where's my tray? my tray? Oh my God. Where'd the tray go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, it's not lost at all. Okay, I try to keep organized. If you said, how does that go? Not good. Oh, these watches just have such a distinct sound. But you know what? You could, now, I think you could always use that sound if you wanted to. I mean, there's a lot of ways to use sound in dog training. There really is. You said people just use their voice or a whistle. <laughs> You know, all these e-collars have tones on them. If you say, what is people's, what do people say? Oh, yes, this is a warning. Like a tornado warning like I got on my phone the other day. I never got one before. If you say, it was upsetting. If you said, what happened? The phone started going, wah, wah, wah. You said, what did you go? I said, oh my God, what's going on? I said, did I accidentally hit the, that iPhone has, um, you know, like if you get kidnapped or something, you can just hit this emergency button and it calls all your contacts and says, I've been kidnapped. Help me, help me. <laughs> if you said so, you don't want to hit it by accident, get going now. So anyway, but it wasn't that. It was this tornado warning. You said that was even more upsetting. It wasn't not upsetting. <laughs> it wasn't not upsetting. I was like, oh my God. If you said, did you run, rush and look at the weather? No. I'm so far past that. I have such a focused life. It's training and making videos and training. <laughs> That's it. And understand, the environment's going against me. If it's raining out, it's not gonna be able to hear me. If it's windy, it's not gonna be able to hear me. If it's anything, it's, it's anything, it's not gonna be able to hear me. If there's any background noise at all. Oh, I know what happened too. I went outside last night, or I started letting the dogs out at like 12.30. Other people haven't even gone to bed yet. I'm just kidding. Well, I go outside, the helicopter from the sheriff's department is flying. They must have been looking for somewhere or something to be flying that low. If you said it was extreme, oh, it was, it was extremely loud. If you said you, if you were inside sleeping, I probably wouldn't have heard it. I mean, I don't ever wake, it doesn't ever wake me up. But once I went outside, I was kind of like, what the, and then I realized. It's loud for just a small amount of time, and then it... And then it, uh, oh. I, that's why I call him Butter Crunch. He melts like butter. It's unbelievable. It really is. I've been working with him. I can go back and find the very first video. I've got so much footage. My, well, I was thinking about doing, what about just, I can't, you know, obviously the reason I don't get the ebook done is because, one, Sharon's working on it, taking all these, things. she's doing all that, but I just don't have any skill in that area. It's like, it would be like if somebody, I do have an outline though, I do have the outline, but it would be like if somebody was, um, and this, this would be the analogy I would make, if some, if I said to somebody, I want to write an ebook, and I said, okay, you need to out write an outline first, and you never need the outline. I at least have made the outline. I just can't proceed past it. If you said, well, how do you know that? I took a writing course. It said, first thing, it's stressed. So if you said, well, this writing course was worth it for the one thing that I learned, that no matter how long it takes, keep working on the outline, and once you have that, fill stuff in. So I do have the outline. <laughs> but the environment is now un unconvoluted by my hands.
hands are very, I told Lorenzo, just because I tease him, you know, but I'm trying to make a point that if you can't bend your wrist like this, you know, you need to get over it. <laughs> he did clean up his, it's, I, I understand my power over Lorenzo. I better not find out he's smoking again either. He quit smoking two packs of cigarettes a day because of me, maybe three. And I said, listen, the scraggly beard and stuff, it's, it's not working at all. If you said, what did he do? He laughed. If you said, did you laugh back? No. no. I had a very pained expression on my face. So if he said he got rid of it, yes. And I immediately said, it looks great. I said, you've got to be getting compliments on this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. If he said that's the bad thing about these watches, yeah, they're too bouncy. Uh -oh. She put it right in my hand. If you said, what's the upset? The keys don't bounce. They're decidedly not bouncing. I, I tell you, say that, they bounce. <laughs> oh, she's fast on the draw. You see that? All right, watch. Give that one a chance while she's distracted. It's beyond cute. It really is. If anything, my body language, they're, not, they're, they're saying there's no threat here. This thing's a gentle giant. <laughs> if you said, no, I like to use... Um, Western social gestures to convey praise and love. Mm -hmm. right, good luck with that. Good luck with that. And don't go to these countries where touching the head mm -hmm. is a problem. Because these people flat out barrel rub the face. Barrel rub the face. Thump the ribs. Thump in the shoulder. Slap the ass. The chin. I need to grab the face. Toss on one side of the ear. He said, I enjoy all those things over and over every day. Yeah. I find that hard to believe. Listen, you little frisky. That's chill. Chilly. Now, his one says, I got your number. She's fast on the draw. Unbelievable. You know, I'm I'm saying no, I'm just basically if you said, well, a robot could do this, that Henry, if you're there, Henry wants robots. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a Kelly bot. That's why I was telling my nephew. He didn't get it. A Kelly bot five thousand. You know, and if you said, well, so what it just the upper bot, yes, there's a stationary version that just it only operates the arms. If you said, What about the one that walks around? Now that one's way more expensive. If you said, well, oh, I just get the stationary version first. It doesn't require any movement. If you said, what could you even do? You could have it drop it in from there. I could have it drop it into a little basket. If you said, well, how could a robot do that? Counterweight, counterweight. If I was adding a head rub, after, if the sequence that I'm starting is going to end with a physical postscript, you're not going to build engagement that way. You're not. That's the end there. It's all over. All right, let's see if Bart Crunch can do it. Even if he's, he can do it even if he's laying down. I mean, none of your sister's sitting on it, and I can't do it because she's sitting on it. Enjoy. <laughs> That's what I said I'm doing. Oh, am unbelievable. All right, looks so I can distract that one so that one can do it. That one's going in the crate. Anyway, I've got the crate all set up, so you guys need to get crates at home. Go to Walgreens. I'll go to Walgreens the day after Christmas. They'll have all the giant Christmas stuffed animals for half price. A Walmart, either Walmart or Walgreens. Oh yeah, all the Christmas stuffed animals. I usually try to go there. Yeah, if you said they'd want to buy a bunch of stuff that you don't need, oh for sure, for sure. But it's all half price, so even though I don't need it, it's worth it. <laughs> if you said that doesn't make any sense. Neither do I. I have a shopping addiction, leave me alone. If you said, what do I, my friend Connie was so worried about all the Amazon boxes. If you said, what did you do? I shouted, don't worry, Connie, it's not heroin. <laughs> if you 
said, did she think that was funny? Not really. No, she didn't think it was funny. But if you said it was true. It's how to train two puppies at once. Anyway, he goes, let me go. I'm going to try to make just a quick video, and then I'm probably going to do a couple. Oh, i got to do Harley with the delivered hand. And she's fast on the draw, though. You see that? she's She's got an immediate reaction. If you said to what? The sound? Yeah. The sound. Because if she's not looking, watch. I can distract this one a minute. If she's not looking, she's going to go for the sound. If you said that's better than the... <laughs> Listen, monkey shine. He's fetching my bracelet. All right, watch. Let me make sure she's not looking. Come on, watch. You see, she heard it, but it was a delayed reaction. Just slightly. Just slightly delayed. It takes a second to process. All right, here we go. It's going strictly by the sound. It's, it's not going by side. You didn't see it. It was his back turned. You know, people don't think of that enough. If, you're, if something always happened when I turned around, actually, I would say, I think I see a pattern here. <laughs> so if you said, did she, I don't think she heard that. Watch. She put it right in. Right, listen, let me go make a video. I gotta grab some more treats. I'm just gonna do a quick video of this and then I will come back. I'm on YouTube right now, though, so if you wanna go over there, but I gotta turn this phone off. To... Anyway, it's a pretty exciting work. And if you said, well, Will these behaviors persist? All you have to do is keep reinforcing them. They've already worked. They're going to keep trying it. Oh, hi, Georgios. Georgios. Georgos. I'm going to learn how to say your name. I'm not an awful person. I'm just not good at grammar. Oh, hi, Dan. Oh, hi, Dan. Uh, I'm just not good at grammar. All right, let me go grab some more treats. Okay, guys, I'm going to go, but I'll be back. I'm going to go do a video real quick.